Welcome everyone, my name's Ali A. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Today we're going to be going through all of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 perks that were in the latest build of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 that I played at E3 literally a few weeks ago. 2015 Black Ops 3 is awesome and I want you guys to know all of the perks 18 in total six in each of the categories There are three categories category one two and three that we're typically used to seeing in a Treyarch Call of Duty Black Ops game But picking those perks and knowing which one is best or which one is your most preferred in each category is not easy But watching this video you guys will get a good idea and know which ones you can start using when the beta comes out in August Later this year, so let's just jump straight into it I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions on each of the perks we go through them as well and you guys can let me know which ones you're liking down below in the comment section so tier one my friends we're gonna be kicking it off with flat jacket flat jacket of course gives less damage from explosives and it also mentions fire as well you've got streaks that will sometimes give off fire so it's just an additional little perk there to help you out and flat jacket is one of those perks which is really popular for more of an aggressive rushing player often on domination maps or um, in more aggressive game modes personally don't use it too much but it is back and it is very similar Next up, we have Blind Dive. This is going to make you immune to enemy air support. And if you had other teams just rocking crazy mad air support and raining down hell, you're going to be wanting to use this. Or if you just want to set up a class, which is like an anti-air class, then this is the one you want to be using. Because then you can, of course, spawn in. You, the enemy air, air support will not track you. You can then fire up in the air, shoot down all of those kill streaks, and make sure the enemy team isn't just raining down hell on you. So the third perk we've got in tier one is Ghost. Ghost will be returning, and it is going to keep you guys off the mini map when a UAV is in, as long as you are moving. If you're standing still, it's not going to work, my friends. You can't sit in the corner and expect Ghost to kick in. You need to be constantly moving if you want to stay off the enemy UAV while you've got Ghost. Very popular perk. We've seen it in previous Black Ops games, and I'm sure people will probably be using it quite a lot. Next up we have Blast Suppressor. Blast Suppressor is a must perk in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and it's one of those ones that you have to use but within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 I was rocking it all the time but honestly like I don't I don't remember once looking at the the mini map and thinking Ah, there's, there's, there's someone's um, uh, jetpack going off. Like, I didn't think that. But uh, I'm not too sure since the latest version of Black Ops 3 that we played at E3 isn't the final build of the game. It's literally like an alpha build. Uh, whether or not that's been implemented properly, maybe when the beta comes out, there will be like an actual visual sort of like, just like an advanced warfare ping that appears in the minimap each time the enemy uses a blast suppressor and they don't have, every time the enemy uses like their jetpack, they don't have blast suppressor. But uh, it, it seems that the effects of using your actual jetpack weren't too big and weren't too noticeable but if you do want to be completely silent then blast suppressor is going to be there for you next up we have afterburner or after burning which is basically allows you to recharge your jetpack quicker so when you guys are playing you'll know that you have that little white bar just underneath your crosshair if you noticed it in any of my black Ops 3 gameplays and you've got a keen eye i have talked about it a few times that's essentially like your bar your your movement meter that allows you to power slide to jump further and to use all of the new special movement features and once that's used up you can no longer use it until it's recharged this is going to allow you to recharge it quicker and basically it's a replacement for like lightweight or just the ability basically to move and be really really quick and agile since lightweight is not a perk in this game and neither is toughness for those of you guys wondering the toughness and the flinch you get while being shot at is now standard and it's sort of like an in-between between not having toughness and having toughness so it's like that middle ground of flinch which I really really like next up in the final sixth perk for this tier is indeed Overclock. Overclock uh, allows you to earn your special ability or your special gun quicker that's in the bottom right of the screen for those of you guys that noticed, and of course we've talked about it, the specialists allow you to bring in a special gun or special ability to your multiplayer games. And this is earned over time and it's sped up by getting yourself more score, getting yourself more kills and playing the objective. But this is going to speed it up even more so Overclock will allow you to get those abilities really, really quick. And if you like going for them, this is going to be your perk. So we've just covered all of Tier 1 perks, my friends. So we're going to now leave Tier 1 perks alone. Let me know which ones you're liking. Personally, I really like Blast Suppressor. And on top of that, uh, if you'd like to sort of stay off the map a little bit, Blind Eye works quite well just in case the enemies have those streets in. But let's move on to tier number two. Hardwired is going to be kicking it off. This allows you to be immune to counter UAVs, EMP grenades, and also will not trigger equipment. So, for example, if you have like a bouncing bet, you're like an equivalent piece of equipment that's going to be in Black Ops 3 on the ground, and it's an enemy one, you go and run over it, rather than that being triggered, exploding in your face, it will no, not go off, so hardwired is very useful there. Next up in 
of the perk category, we have ourselves Scavenger. We guys all know Scavenger, and this is, of course, going to give you uh, additional ammo for your weapon when you kill an enemy with your weapon. So very useful. I love running that, and it's just great if you want to go on long kill streaks. you want to focus on your weapon, of course, you can customize your weapon so much in Black Ops 3 that you're probably going to be wanting to stick with your weapon rather than picking random weapons off the ground and using somebody else's setup. Next up, we have Fast Hands. Fast hands is going to allow you to switch weapons quicker and also aim quicker after sprinting. This is really, really useful, um, especially in gunfights where maybe you're using an SMG and you are running around quite a lot just to bring up your weapon as effectively and quickly as possible. So you're not caught off guard and you can have your gun up straight away and start shooting at the enemy really quickly. And is again, just great for those close quarter gunfights. Next up, we have... Tracker. This is a very interesting one that I used a little bit when I first ever played Black Ops 3 multiplayer at the Treyarch offices, but didn't really use at all when I played it again a few weeks ago at E3. But Essentially, this will actually put on the ground, uh, like, enemies' footprints, but only, like, the recent footprints. So, like, only a very short trail of all the enemies' footprints will be left on the ground. Now, it's really useful if you are being a very aggressive player, and, like, you're in their spawn, or you're in the area they're at, but you don't quite know where they are. Maybe there isn't a UAV in the air, but you can start to spot all of these footprints around. And it's just a great way of knowing that an enemy is at least nearby. You need to be careful. You should probably stop sprinting because you don't want to be caught in that sprinting animation in the middle of a gunfight. Um, and I, I think it's going to be tweaked quite a lot. I think it's going to be like, just made sure that it's as perfect as possible so it's not too powerful. But it's very, very useful. I'm going to be experimenting with this a lot when the Black Ops 3 beta comes out. And I think it's going to be a very, very useful brand new perk for Black Ops 3. Next up, we have Anti-Up, which allows you to start with a little bit of a bonus to your score streak. So you, you start with, like, not much score. Honestly, it's not a massive bonus, but it means you just start, start with a little bit of score in your bank for when you jump into a game, which means getting that first score streak is going to be a little bit easier and a little bit quicker than normal. Uh, there isn't a hard line in this game, and I did use Anti-Up a little bit, but honestly, I was like, I don't really want just a little bit of score for the, for the fact that I want to, like, trade up all of the other uh, Tier 2 perks. So... I didn't really use it too much. And then finally, you have yourself cold-blooded, my friends. This is going to reduce the size of your digital footprint. So that's going to be reducing the footprint we just talked about from the tracker perk. Uh, and it's also going to make you immune to thermals and also immune to ground-based score streaks. So over in the Tier 1 category, we had Blind Eye, which makes you immune to air-based uh, score streaks. And then cold Blood is going to cover all of the ground-based score streaks. And there's going to be a big mixture of them, both up in the air and down below. So if you want one of those sort of off-the-map sneaky ninja classes, you're probably going to be taking Blind Eye from Perk 1 tier and then Cold Blood from Tier 2. But that's going to round off all of the six perks in Tier 2. And as you can see, we've got some great ones in here. I really like Scavenger, but I think ones like Hardwired are going to be really, really useful. And Tracker, I definitely want to use a little bit more. I think it's going to be a very, very good way of knowing where enemies are, especially if you're an aggressive player. So let's jump straight into the third tier, my friends, with the final six perks. And we have got ourselves, first of all, Engineer, which is a very, very nice perk. This is going to show enemy score streaks and equipment for you. And it's going to allow you to re-roll your care packages and then also booby trap them as well. Which basically means if an enemy comes along and tries to steal it or tries to take it, it's just going to blow up in their face. Very, very useful. I didn't get a chance to use Engineer. But just from all of like all the list of stuff you can do with it, I think people are definitely going to use this a lot. And it gives you a good incentive to use the care package just for the case of being able to re-roll it and maybe get something absolutely awesome. On top of that, we also have Dead Silence. This is going to allow you to reduce the sound of your footsteps to what extent it gets reduced to. I'm not sure sure from the builds I've played you can barely hear the footsteps and I think the footsteps are still is going to be a thing that's going to be tuned a lot within the Black Ops 3 beta leading up to launch and then next up you've also got awareness awareness is basically the opposite it's going to make footsteps louder for you guys meaning you can hear them even better I really like awareness it, it wasn't too strong in Black Ops 2 it was a nice balance um, but we'll see how it works out and again as I said footstep tuning is going to be a big thing uh, within Black Ops 3 and then we next up have Tactical Mask, which is going to reduce shot charges, flash, and concussion effects when they're used on you. I know uh, shot charges and concussion can be annoying, they can slow you down, so it's going to allow you to keep on moving. Still be aggressive and agile and stop all of those things from affecting you and being annoying. Next up, we have a Gung Ho. This is, again, a useful perk. It's going to allow you to hit fire and use equipment while sprinting and moving and basically just keeping the flow of the game, the ability to use your weapon 
all at the same time, in use and in sync at the same time. And then finally, my friends, one of my favorite brand new perks for the game is called Six Sense, my friends. If you watch any of my multiplayer gameplay from Black Ops 3 and you take a look at the minimap, you'll notice that sometimes a red arrow will either appear up, down, left, or right on that minimap, which is essentially indicating that there's an enemy very, very close to me in that direction. Now, when I played this game at Black Ops 3 at Treyarch offices like a few months back, this was really powerful at a really long range but it's definitely been toned back. I used it a lot and it really helped me out and I think the devs noticed that and they're like, it's a little bit too powerful. So you pretty much have to be almost on top of the enemy for that to now work, but it's really good if you're in a building because uh, if it goes off and like you know your room's clear, then you'll know that there'll be someone either below or above you and it's just good for if you are being aggressive for knowing where enemies are, if they're near you and giving you that indication when you may have missed someone which is in your vicinity. So that is all 18 perks when it comes to the third tier perk. I really like Six Sense, as I said. Engineer sounds really useful, but I feel like Dead sil Silence or Awareness will be one of those two perks I just can't play without either. So I think I'm going to have to be rocking a wild card to get two of the perk threes. That's what I'm thinking so far. So all 18 perks, guys. Let me know what you're thinking of the categories. Do you think they're divided up well? Do you think all the categories are in the right spot? And do you think there's anything in there that you're kind of annoyed about? Maybe you want toughness to come back. Maybe you want lightweight to come back. Honestly, I'm really liking the looks of these perks and their ordering. I think Treyarch doing a good job so far it's just going to come down to a tinkering and tweaking which will get through the beta when it comes out in august so there we go guys all of the perks of call of duty black ops 3 if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up subscribe for more black ops 3 i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video